All right, all right. Welcome back to the channel. We are going to be playing Guardians of the Galaxy. I'm going to try and make just one video of the entire game as much as well as I can. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. So all these characters are are based off of the comics. Um, they are not based off of the Marvel universe. So here, the the actual of the characters are going to be um but still staying in line with actual comics now i did start playing this game originally just a couple hours ago um just to take in the soundtrack and everything so i currently have it on streaming mode so that you know copyright infringement or anything like that um so yeah um let's see what they do because the entire starting section of the game is all licensed music so let's see what happens on the on the streaming mode. We got this. Probably. I like how they do the difficulty settings. I like how they word it. Okay, we're good. When was this song recorded? That's pretty cool. Is that your new tape? Star Lord. Who's the guy with the scary eyes? He doesn't have a name. He's one of the space riders. And he's not scary. He's cool. Your space rider certainly got his hands full. Pretty far out. Nobody says far out anymore, Ma. <laughs> Ma. What? Nobody says far out anymore. Oh, well, your mom does. Maybe we should see if we could get tickets to see them live. Really? Mm hmm Your mom may not look it, but I was quite the rocker when I was your age. Your father and I would just lie on the hood of my old Chevy and listen to Black Sabbath and... You like Black Sabbath? Like I said, your mom's cooler than you think. Oh, we'd look up at the stars, and he'd tell me all about the places he'd been. Mom? How about some cake, huh? Yeah, I'll be up in a sec. <coughs> you said that 15 minutes ago. If you don't hurry, I'm gonna eat that whole cake myself. No, you wouldn't. 
Yes, I would. <laughs> you wouldn't. Yes, I would. Hey, watch the hair. <laughs> We've talked about you leaving your toys on the floor. It's not a toy. It's an action figure. More like an action landmine. Stab your foot. I will. He doesn't even... Never mind. Thirteen whole years. Look at you. Where does time go? I'll be up in a sec. I promise. Right. Why are you wearing shoes in bed? For oh, a 13 man. year old. I can't wait to play this. Maybe I can convince Andy to buy it with his paper out money. Yeah, for a 13 year old, this guy has some pretty lush hair. <laughs> Worth hundreds of dollars someday. Are you ready to go, go, go? We'll an entrepreneur on the mind. Gotta beat Janie's high score. This is embarrassing. Three natural ones in a row last game. Some barn I turned out to be. I caught this. That maiden show was awesome. The final battle was awesome. Looked like the heroes were done for, but they pulled it off. Oh man, traveling through space must be amazing. I do love how they were able to, like, really make this room Peter Quill's room. It's pretty crazy that all that destruction started from one little mistake. Like, the detail, and the, the fact that you can interact with all these different things. Need to build up my calluses. Keep hitting those dingers, George, and you'll make it in the Hall of Fame for sure. Easy come, easy go. Tomorrow's fate, I don't need to know. Fingers are still crap from trying to bookmark pages. I know it's not how you're supposed to play, but I'm tired of dying everywhere. The movie was okay. The soundtrack really kicked butt. Might as well just peel the stickers off and put them in the right spot. I usually got one side. I think that's everything in the room. Stop doing this, man. It's weird. We are approaching the quarantine zone. How long was I out for? 15,338 ticks. That's very specific. The betrayer is ready to begin our mission. She has requested your presence in the cockpit. Gamora's on our side, Drax. She is the spawn of my sworn enemy, a murderess and a traitor. I do not trust her. We'll try. We're supposed to be a team. I make no promises.
Oh, it ain't just a junkyard. The quarantine zone's the biggest pile of galactic war debris in the known universe. Just think of all the tech we can find. Hey, it's only illegal if Novacore finds us inside, which they won't. But I will say. Nervous rocket. Don't underestimate the Novacore. Oh, come on. Am I the only one who ain't scared of the galactic police? They've got the numbers on us. But they ain't got the brains. Ha! <laughs> sure takes a genius to catch my... Ah, there you are, Quill. Tell Groot to stop worrying about getting arrested. I am Groot. I'm not overconfident. I'm just the right level of confident. <laughs> arrested? If they catch us, they'll shoot us on spot. <laughs> Out here, on the frontier, cops don't have time to arrest people. <laughs> Relax, bud. Novacore ain't the type to shoot first. Arresting folks is their whole thing. That and silly helmets. <sighs> it's funny how you can, uh, respond. Either in a positive or a uh, fun and joking way. <laughs> Morgoth, be with you. Hey. Morgoth yourself! I am cool. Morgoth is a politeness thing? Katathian customs don't make no sense to me, bud. Let's close this. Nice gizmos rocket! I'm calling them thumpers on account of the noise they make. Assuming we get past the force field and reach your coordinates in one piece, all we gotta do is set them up, and these babies are gonna draw out our monster in no time. <laughs> How's that even gonna work? The thumper goes beep, 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 and the monsters come running? Eh, it goes more like, uh, wah, wah, wah! Holy holla, rocket! Stop this ruckus at once! <laughs> And then the monster comes a running out of its hole. Are you sure about that? Hey, all my intel came from your source. My sources are very reliable. Those coordinates are 100% pointing towards a rare, elusive, priceless creature. With no physical description to go by. What do you think elusive means? It don't matter what the monster looks like. As long as it's got ears, you can be sure my thumpers are going to drive it right into our arms. It looks like if a ends with acid. Well. <laughs> Drax! <gasps> About Gamora. Can this not wait, Peter Quill? I am readying my body for battle. Uh, <laughs> you know we're supposed to capture this monster, right? Not kill it? Of course. But I suspect it will not go down without a fight. Cool it, muscles. Lady Hellbender ain't gonna buy damaged goods. I will aim to preserve the integrity of the beast as best I can. Good. All good, buddy? I am Groot. You know, I don't understand you, Groot, but I'm gonna assume you just said something super kind and thoughtful. <laughs> I am Groot. What did the tree say? No idea. Laugh is turn. What is it? Dude, take five. We gotta talk about that Gamora thing. She is waiting for you in the cockpit. I know, I know, I just meant... Are you gonna be okay? You two are gonna be alone on the ship for a while. Rest assured, Peter Quill. I will keep a watchful eye and thwart any attempt at treachery. Or... You could try trusting her. <laughs> you are naive, Peter Quill. She is a mistress of deceit. Good old Milano. Engine parts from at least five different black markets. Oh. 
Peter Quill, we must soon discuss the status of my official team membership badge. Drax, once again, there is no official badge. <laughs> Obviously, you would not have one, Assassin. The small one indicated the procedure is a well-guarded secret. Rocket, stop messing with him. I do like that they got personalities down pat. Gamora? Up here, Peter. Hey, that's my chair. Oh, then why aren't you in it? I was, uh, strategizing. It's one thing to get into the zone, but we still gotta catch that monster. Right. So did I miss anything? Other than a ton of suspicious glares from Drax, not really. Now, if you're done strategizing, feel free to grab your seat. We're almost ready to go. Okay, here we go. Rocket crew, Drax, get in here. We're going in. We still have a few ticks before the next time window, actually. The next one. Nova Corps security guard resets every rotation. We want to be in and out before our code expires, or we'll get stranded. If we wait for the next reset, we'll get a full rotation to do this. Nice. <laughs> oh, why is the Nova net still up? Thought we were going in. Well, it appears the assassin's contacts are as untrustworthy as the betrayer herself. Oh, please don't tell me Gamora's backdoor coats are bust. We nearly went broke getting them. Relax, Rocket. We still got a few ticks before the next time window. The network just reset. You can enter the sequence, Peter. 0451. That's it? Four digits? Suspicious. These security measures are too simplistic for Novacore. It's not that simple. The code only works on this date for this ship. Oh, I get it. Gamora's codes are more like an- There. So much stuff left after the war. Restraint wasn't very popular in the Shatari army, especially with Thanos in charge. Yeah, it's probably all harmless now. I mean, Novacor had 12 years to get rid of the heavy duty explosives, right? <laughs> That's why I like you, Quill. You're so pure. Oh, the wonderful and terrible things I could do with all this tech. Stay focused, Roland. We do not come here to scavenge. Why not? The Milano's weapon systems could use an overall. Plus, there's good money in it. The piece that we seek is far more valuable to the monster queen of Seknoff 9 than any illegally acquired salvage. Whoa! Oh, place is really shifty. I'm not seeing a monster, but that big cylinder up ahead looks like the mining ship Peter's friend said to look for. <laughs> friend? For a night? And you'll see the monster as soon as we place Rocket's monster summoning thingies. Flark, yeah. Group, Quill, suit up. Team Rocket's up first. I still do not understand why I must remain on board with the Assassin. Oh, because you're part of Green Team. You assigned me to the team before you named it. My skin is not green. It's teal. Teal? Listen, if we want to trick the monster into going inside that mining rig, we need to place thumpers on both sides. Two sides, two teams. And two clicks to the drop site. Grounds to a safe to land a ship, so you'll need to jump. That's our cue. Let's go, group. <laughs> Don't worry! Once the thumpers are placed, we'll meet in the middle, and we'll capture the monster. Together. Very well. That's like Marvel. Very picturesque. Meet you at the rendezvous point. Mora, 
Take care of my baby. It's a ship, Peter, not a child. Oh, oh. can you imagine? Pfizer works. What, the pink coup? It's custom nano rest, designed to keep all this war stuff from floating away. Yep, being here definitely feels a little weird. Yo, Quill, these coordinates are so reliable. How come we're the only ones out here trying to catch this thing? We're the only ones crazy enough. Nah, it's totally safe. Now, can we please focus less on the toxic goo and more on all this cool war junk it's holding together? I didn't mean toxic toxic. More, uh, don't put it in your mouth toxic. Uh, I can't remember. Yes, sir. It is strange. I have not encountered any corpses in the wreckage. Hmm. Probably got disintegrated when the ships went kaboom. Or the nano resin absorbed them. Could explain its propagation. I'm thinking that big cylinder thing is our rendezvous. Yeah, that's the mining rig. So weird seeing it all clustered together like this. Bits and pieces of a war that spanned the entire galaxy held together by pink goo. Ebrium based nano resin. Whatever. I'm just saying it's a lot to take in. Oh, look! Yellow and blue. Looks like an old Novacore frigate. Nice! Come on, dude. People probably died on that ship. Killjoy, why do you even bring us here if the place is so sacred? I could name at least a dozen planets with monsters on them, so... Don't know if you noticed, Rocket, but people aren't exactly falling over themselves to hire us. Oh, I have noticed. If this job pans out, sure we'll get money, but also a rich new client. We need to impress Lady Hellbender with a monster she's interested in, not just any old critter. Which is why we should have gone after Fin Fang Foom. We won't impress no one if we're dead. You know, I think I do sort of get it. Thousands of worlds fighting for some fleeting greater good. Yes, it is kind of poetic. I am Whoa! Oh. Okay. I'm okay. Ha! <laughs> Almost made yourself a very late war casualty. Not funny. You know, I like this. This is fun. The three of us hanging out, just like when we started this gig. Before you know who joined us. I am Quill. I do not hate everybody. I tolerate Quill. <laughs> the three of us have had some good times. Remember the gig on Draconius? <sighs> <laughs> the locals did not appreciate us hauling them onto our ship. Lark and shapeshifters, man. Never again. We don't know what it looks like. Will neglected to get that info while he was flirting on Contraxia. It'll look like a monster worth selling. And I wasn't flirting, I was drinking. Whoa! Pretty sure that way's a dead end. Eh, uh, you sure? Ah, there we go. Path's this way. Come on. How can you even tell? Just trust me, all right? Hey, group. You think we could find pieces of the Trion shard in here? Uh, you happy, Quill? You found the thing. I told you was there, but you didn't listen. A dead end. Uh, the mythical void. That's it. Walk of shame. <sighs> of course he could know. I told him. Oh, you're checking to see if there's a... Just imagine what kind of blasters the Shatari had to use to wreck some of these frigates. I am I'm not being insensitive. You done gloating? Oh, I am never done gloating. I am good. Yep, classic me. Ah! 
Parasites. Flarkers would chew right through the Milano and two. Gross. <laughs> nice splatter. Hey, 50 units says I can clear more of these suckers than you. As if. Whoa, what the? Rocket, did you do that? The scoreboard? You like it? Hacked it into your visor cover last time you took a snooze. You hacked into my stuff? Considering how many times I fixed the Flarkin thing, it might as well be my stuff. Optimal thumper placing distance should be just up ahead. I'm thinking right in front, through the giant hole where this ship's cockpit used to be. Well, that's grim. I'm uh, yeah, try not to think about it. It's better not to wonder what happened to anyone working on these old wrecks. It was a long time ago anyways. Just, uh, thought I saw a shortcut. shortcut. Right. Go ahead without me. I'll catch up. Okay. There's a crapped out Novacore missile bay just on the other side. We'll meet you there. Yellow and blue missile bay. Got it. Oh, no. Okay. Crawling through creepy old ship. Deal. Easy there, Quill. Pretty sure nothing's gonna jump out at you. Except maybe me and Groot. It is good to be doing physical labor again. Kind of hard to believe you were a farmer. I was a warrior. Working the soil can be as satisfying as battle. I am 
I really doubt pulling weeds is as good as pulling ice. Well, we got a lot riding on your gal pal's mystery monster tip. I hope she's legit. I'm like you could even tell if she had an honest face. I'm Trust in the plan, guys. Everything is checked out so far, right down to the mining ship. Put our thumpers in the right places, and we'll bag that monster. Uh, Quill knows all about putting thumpers in the right places. <laughs> and getting monsters in the sack, too. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Son of a smash! That was too close! You okay, Groot? Well, we're fine, but we can't jump that. You don't gotta jump. There's a sturdy support beam on this side. Get Groot to grow a bridge across. Just ask him nice like. He does it for me all the time. I can hear your visor working. Better not be cheating on our bet, Quill. How can you hear that? All right, Groot. Let's see that cool vibe. Oh, oh, oh. That's one hell of a party trick, big guy. Gross. More ship eaters. Ah, oh, they're everywhere. All right. Boom. Right under your nose, Quill. So what do I gotta do to get a last name like Drax's? Katathians have no need for surnames. What about the Destroyer? Groot, I found a hitch. Can you latch onto it? Hey, Greenies. You see any blue and gold ships out there, you let us know. We have seen many such ships. He means active ones. We haven't talked about what to do to run into a Nova Patrol. Uh, we'll restrain them until you're done here. Bad idea. If you see cops, you get my ship out of here. Even if it means leaving us behind. Uh, flark bat! Trust me, I've dealt with Nova Corps before. Even helped them catch real criminals. I can talk my way out. You think that Milano can outrun a fully powered Nova Centurion? She's done it before. Any bets on what this monster's gonna look like? <laughs> How many legs? Like, uh, more than four? will be majestic. What does that look like? We shall see. Okay, here we go. All right, set her down right there. Yep, one to go. Flark! No, no! Flark and Skaggy! Kratak and batteries fried, that's what's wrong. Maybe you put it down too hard. Let's just find a solution. The solution's a new battery. Okay, we're on what's left of a ship. Full of ship things. Gotta be things that power ship things around here, right? Yeah. Maybe you're gonna want to use your visor for this. You find a replacement, and I finish scraping the fried wires. Found something with a charge. Kinda looks like a spacey car battery. Okay, this thing isn't gonna zap me, right? The chance is minuscule, at best. You'll be fine. What are you waiting for, Quill? Grab it. Here you go. That'll do nicely. Just let me tinker a bit. I'll have to do some tweaking once I see how much juice this thing puts out. So uh, watch my back. Watch it from what? Just grab the battery and give it a yank. Fucking monster face! Everyone get ready! Yeah, who did look active? They're really coming out of the woodwork! I am not encountering any rivals! for 
for you to say you've got a pointy stick! Thanks for the heads up, bud! Oh my. If I don't fix this thing, they'll keep coming! to see you fix it next time. Come on, two down, two to go. I don't see any way out of the missile bay except that passage, bud. Well, we found a way out. Is there anything Groot's else in this area? Reward's gonna be worth all the risk we're taking for this job. Me and Groot are nearly unkillable, but what if the rest of you don't make it out alive? If the two of us gotta lug that monster- Guys, this job is a huge deal. It's for the freaking monster queen of Seknarf 9. She just doesn't know it yet. We pull this off and we're- Lady Hellbender's intergalactic monster anglers? I do prefer that name, but the acronym is unwieldy. No, we're still the guardians of the galaxy, but people will know that name means quality. We'll have clients competing to hire us. People bigger than Lady Hellbender. <laughs> that is doubtful. Man, that thing is ridiculous. I think it was a ship or a robot. That's a pre-century. A robot, but it would have been space worth. <laughs> that ain't even the biggest one. They designed at least five experimental models twice that size. How do you know all this? Because they were my fellow experiments back on Half-World. Most of my parts came from the cybernetics hangar next to the door, so, uh... I got a sneak peek at all the new killbots. I can see the parts come and go from my, uh... Uh, my cage. I didn't mean to open old wounds. Eh, most of them are just scars now anyways. This old Kree tech gets me wondering, where would I be now if those blue butt scuts managed to keep me locked into their half-world experiments? <laughs> yeah, chances are you'd be climbing over bits of me right now. I wasn't even a person to the worst of the Kree's mad scientists. More like a real smart walking gun. Very talkative gun. <laughs> yeah, that part was an accident. They tried to fix it a few times. The entire facility was the problem. I wish I'd gone back and blown it up before the end of the war. Get a load of this, Rocket! Don't worry, I ain't even got to huh. hey. Amora, when are you gonna share your contacts and sources? When will you share yours? What? You know about all my guys. Only that you've got a guy that makes the, the booms, you've got a guy who can reconstruct faces, you've got a guy who never says no. <laughs> oh yeah, I love that guy. And hey, it ain't my fault I ain't no good with names, but I can always place a face. Unless my face guy gets a hold of them first. <laughs> yep, that would have been a killing blow. Ha! Not even close! Groot, need you to shoot a bridge right into that eye socket. Now, I want to see you do that to something in combat. Wait, is that... Yes! I'm about to win this bet, Quill! Ow. I'm Groot. Of course we're going the right way, just... We're inside a giant robot head. And I got robot parts inside my head. You have robot parts inside your head. Inside a giant robot head. 
<laughs> hey, Groot, what do you think I should do when I win this bet? <laughs> I mean with the units he'll owe me once I win. Don't congratulate him! Well, I know what I'll be doing with my winnings. I'm saving up for our next stop on Contraxia to get one of those Theronian massages. Ugh, you're so predictable. Exactly! You suck, Star Charge! Let's see. When I beat Quill, I'm gonna get my hands on some rotating hyper circuits. Boo! No one knows what those are! How's that bed going over there? I am crushing this! What do you think, Drax? Should we get in on this bed? Think of all the hyper circuits you can buy. Are you making fun of me? I do not wish to acquire hyper circuits. Well, I hear you scanning. That one was juicy! And just so we're clear, Green Team is officially ineligible for the bet. Why? Well, for one, you need a gun. I have no need for a projectile weapon. Imagine something this big coming at you. A whole ship was like a bug by comparison. So it would swat them out of the air like flies. You know what, Quill? I think it's unfair. You got two guns, I got one. I think my points should count double from now on. That's cheating. All right, Bumper goes there, Quill. Before it, uh, let's look around, right? Hey, Bumper ain't gonna install itself. Yeah. I just continue on. It's not gonna piss off every critter around, right? Sorry, Quill. Not taking no chances after the last one. I gotta test it real quick. Not again. Rocket! I only flipped the switch on and off to see if it started. You yep. gotta love that kill radius. Ow. That was effective. I know, right? What was that worth? Five points? Oh, come on! You can't just give yourself points like that! Sure I can! Hey, green team! Looks like we're done installing our thumpers! Great job! We'll meet you at the mining ship. All right, mining rig is right there. Of course it's secure. As secure as a broke-down Shatari shipwreck's ever gonna be. What is going on? That's cause you keep calling it gooey stuff. It's nano resin. I am Groot. There is no other way. This is a straight line. Don't be paranoid. 
Come on, Groot. We need to get across here. And Rocket wouldn't put you at risk, right? That's right. I've always got your back, bud. I am Groot. Nah, it just looks unstable like everything else in here. Don't get your twigs in a bundle. Yes, the resin can hold a stupid warship. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's totally safe. See, I'll even prove it. Huh? Look at this. Uh, rocket? A oh, flark. Nice jump! Saving me! I love you too, you selfless son of a truck. Come on, Coral. He says I'll meet us at the mining ship. I don't want to make him wait. That's it? We're not going after him? He says it's fine. We'll meet him later. Team Rocket, is everything okay? Let's take this window. The radio must have broke when he fell. What happened to your timber companion? He ain't timber. He's alive. So? I, I really don't know if you're being clever or dumb right now. Team Rocket, out. Uh, sounds like green team's off our backs. Now we can stop worrying about that uh, dumb accident. Groot's fine anyways. There's nothing to worry about. An accident, Rocket? Come on! What? That's all it was. It's your fault! If you hadn't fooled around on that ship... I did it! You don't know nothing. Stop trying to be smart. That sure didn't sound like an apology. Nope. Are you scanning for targets? Hell yeah. Imagine towing all this scut by hand. Or by ship, technically. Maybe they retrofit their star blasters with no force gravitational shuttles. Huh. Uh, yeah, that would work. Man, if that afterburner kicked on right now, we'd be toast. Let's hope it don't, because we have to find a way through this thing. Mining ships on the other side of that turbine, so we gotta find a way through. Try not to jump on anything this time. Groot's not there to grab you if you... Well, either shut up or help me figure out how these blades open. There's a drone access tunnel over here. Too bad we don't got a drone. <sighs> Can you squeeze in there? Knew it. Rocket, fix the thing. Rocket, clean up the mess. Rocket, crawl into the mystery hole. See anything? Yeah, a manual override. Team Rocket, we hit a snag. One of our temper points was covered in resin, so we're gonna fly around and scout another spot. Just make sure the new spot as close as possible to the original one, because of maps and angles. Great, another turbine. Yeah, that is how these things are usually built. And boop. someone's been practicing. <laughs> Come on, let's get out of here. The bugs are kind of unsettling. We're back on track. The mining ship ain't too far. Think Groot's already ahead of us? Maybe. Hope he didn't get distracted. I've been thinking about buying him a leak. It wasn't me this time.
It's uh, nice and cozy in here. Not so much when you can't see in the dark. Ah, I think I felt the panel. Yeah, there's wiring in there. See if I can get the systems back on. How long is this gonna take? Oh, come on! Flark and tensor joint, just neat. Uh, wiggle the... Okay, so life support's booting back up. What's it look like out there? Oh, mother of space bars. It's just... Cleaner bots. You don't know. Sorry about the shooting. Yeah, thought you were that freaky thing we accidentally released. Saw! We saw some cleaner bots. <laughs> accidentally. At a distance. <laughs> we're totally all right. Rocket, I'm not so sure that swarm thing was inoffensive. I feel kind of bad about releasing it. <laughs> Quill took a pot shot at this massive worm nest. A chunk of something fell off and the big floaty creature came out of it. That's all. I love how they I love how they wrote like the um relationships between the different characters. Which Arago job. It feels like the dumb enough to lead us into a trap, but don't sweat it. The personality nobody knows we're here. All the banter between the characters. I'm saying upgrades available, so what do I upgrade? Green team! Let's see.
head option Concept. Better be showing up soon. You didn't see them? Here you go. Rendezvous coordinates are that way. But we'll have to find a way around the rubble. I'll try to find a side passage. Remember to watch for useful scrap. Look at this old beauty. A table. This is a vintage Model T engineering workbench. They don't make them sturdy like that no more. Hey, come on, Quill. Let's see if this beauty still works. Maybe I can fix up your gear. Hey, hand me that part. Ah. Well, that explains it. How did you manage to get here, buddy? You rode on what thing? I am. What? You're telling me you just surfed it over? I am. All right. That's it's all me. yours. One fine tech upgrade, hot and fresh. Clear out that crud. <laughs> eh, that's one stubborn bunch of lords. Try that quick cooldown I installed, so you can keep helping. Come on, Quill, put them pea shooters to good use, so we can squeeze in there. Oh yeah, nailed it. Nice. <laughs> And, uh, thanks for the upgrade. All right, let's squeeze our way out of here. So, that thing we set free... Uh, what thing? I didn't see a thing. Uh, definitely don't want to talk about no thing. Uh, seems a little wobbly. You guys hang back a sec. What is that? Yeah. That was disgusting. Holy crap! It's the most punchable thing I've ever seen! Master Tater! Ha 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 ha! Rocket, you really missed out. That was amazing. Team Rocket! Finally. We couldn't hear you before. Something about the mining should have been messing up our comms. Yeah, something really ain't right in here. And Quill fell down another hole. Another one. Oh, okay. That's cool. Like okay, Iron Man. I'm parking the Milano, but Drax is out there searching for you. Maybe you'll find Quill before we do. We're trying to catch up to him. Guys, we really need to get better at the buddy system. She is not my buddy. I will find you, Peter Quill. Just I would be you. you're surrounded. Yeah, 
Yeah, I really should have gone. Mining equipment just old. Noted. I have located some old equipment, but I do not see you. This whole place is old equipment. It's not there on search. Huh? Huh. I wonder if Rocket knows what this is. Okay. Okay. What a weird bunch of stuff to mine. What was it? I don't know. Weird QB hunks of rock or metal. Spot. We'll head that way and keep an eye out for you. All right. Pretty sure that baby's our ticket upward. Somehow. It's a possibility. Maybe try something else. I could make it up there, but we're gonna need something for you two to climb up on. Let's see that fancy footwork, Gamora. Bet you can't do this. That is physically impossible. <laughs> and yet it was done. I like that okay. kind of mix of each. Sort of making progress. Drax, each any thoughts? I am debating whether to employ the Kershagar luggage to subdue our monster, and whether that would be inadvertently fatal. I mean, for our current problem. Drax, think you can heft that container? Behold the might of a Katathian warrior! Remember this moment, should you ever think of crossing me, assassin. All right, Rocket. We're back on track. Huh? Oh, yeah. Uh, good for you. I am good. It ain't stealing if it's abandoned. We... Oh, fuck. Rocket. <laughs> Not now, Quill.
Rocket? Perhaps he has located our monster. We don't even know what it looks like. The intel was extremely vague. It wasn't vague, it was... rushed. It's probably some cute little... Nightmarish abomination. Lady Hellbender is a renowned warrior. An ideal specimen would reflect that strength. Like I said, something scary. I disagree. Strength is endearing. With a name like Hellbender, Gamora's probably right. It's gotta be something scary. Nightmarish. A proper apex predator. Snarling and nasty. More teeth than all of us combined. Bat-like wings with razor tips. Probably spits poison or acid. Or acidic poison. I hope all these are true. I yearn for a worthy challenge. About this place? You mean besides the comms going dead for no reason? There was a reason. You collided with that column of scrap. You what? I was dodging a hailstorm of flaming debris. And the comms went out before that. Yeah. Oh, I didn't make it. Like, how do I fly? Why do you think the monster was drawn to this ship of all places? Sustenance, no doubt. Maybe the ship's engines are still vibrating after all these cycles. Or they draw sustenance from something that is leaking. Radiation could explain our comm problems. Whoa! Run in. Just run in. Run in. Run in. Run in. We got company! Is this from the last thumper? and scary out there, Quill. Forknard's on the field. Danger on all sides. Then it's time we stand and face it and make sure they're nullified. Are we heroes to be laughed at? No! I'll laugh at them instead. Who's with me? Die, please! Can't wait to take him down! Time the bl That was cool. That was cute, though. This is my kind of workout! It'll be a slime! Oh. Uh. Yeah, you show him, bud! Danger close, Rocket! We ain't such a bad team after all! Did Rocket just compliment us? Oh. Never see it coming! Crash dead! Going to kill something else! Nice. Yo! These pustules are no match for the destroyer! Glorious! Bring on our monster! I am engorged with the crumb of battle. Didn't need to hear that. Come uh -huh. on, last thumper spot is this way. How do you know? My senses are fine-tuned to measure even the tiniest vibrations. Really? No, I'm tracking it on my display. The Milano should be right on the other side of this door. It was open when I came through here. <laughs> Who says I tripped on something? Murder Mom probably closed the door behind her. Excuse me?
Oh no. My blades oh, are eager scary. to meet uh, this monster. Remember, we take it alive. No accidents this time. It looks like it's still got some juice. Give it a go, Rocket. Watch the genius at work. You are a miracle worker, man. This tech was built by people who make holes in giant floating space rocks. I have to say, that is an immaculate parking job. Thanos never tolerated imperfection. Never been a problem for Quill. We'll need a good staging spot for the last bumper. I'll know it when I see it. Yeah, yeah. This is it. Last spot. I can't wait to be out of here. This place feels like it's about to collapse on itself. I cannot wait to meet our monster. I thought you were mostly interested in meeting the buyer. She is a respectable collector. Is it working? Yeah, yeah. Don't worry, sunshine. <laughs> Is it, uh, doing it? What? It appears to be broken. Ain't nothing broke. That's the sound it's supposed to make. What sound? You can't hear that. Hear what? Oh. Your monster. Hey, that thing is fast! Don't let Who's it get behind boy? you. It could be poisonous. Maybe the vendor will pay extra if it is poisonous. Crack! That's one less thing to hide behind. Good thinking, well. You got this one! Feel this! Maybe try calling it like a pet! Here, monster! Who's a good monster? Lama. What the flark is that? Definitely not a monster. Adorable. It's more matted than an Asgardian goat. We cannot present this pathetic creature to the monster queen of Sektoff 9. She will laugh at us. Maybe we can use it as bait. I knew those thumpers wouldn't work. What? My thumpers are state of the art. Musclehead's the one who rushed at the first thing that came through the door. My head is not made of muscle. What the? Oh! You guys seeing what I'm seeing? Yes. Now that is a monster. Enough with the warm-up. Time to catch us a real monster. Let's get paid. What in hell's name is that? Definitely not cleaner bots. Watch it! The whole place is crapping out. We gotta get out of here! Now! Curse these volatile ruined tracks, go! Hold on to your butts, people! Lock it! Hit the music! On it! Focus on flying, Peter! Someone play this man a song! Now we're talking! Watch the ship! I'm watching, I'm watching! You ain't! Drax, what are you doing? I am holding my buttocks as Peter Quill instructed. Someone give me a hand. Am I right? How about one upside the head? Heads up! We have debris incoming! Blow it away! Time to thread 
the needle. Don't even think about it. Quickest way through is through. Peter! You fear dying with a guilty conscience, assassin. Don't you get goo on my ship. My ship. Oh, that's it. Let me drive. You're gonna get us killed. We're not dead yet. Maybe we are, and this is hell. Do not be ridiculous. This place lacks the eternal frost of Sarduf. Your hell is frozen? The Tathians do not like to be cold. Try putting on a shirt. See? Peace, so. Group says watch out! Yeah, thanks for the heads up! just got eaten. Whatever you can fly away from means you screwed up because you had to fly away from it. Uh, please don't be Nova Corps. Please don't be Nova Corps. Please don't be Nova Corps. It is Nova Corps. Say Hal's hope. Um, <clears throat> there's a, a, a thing I got. I gotta do. I'll, I'll be right back. We need to get rid of that animal now. <sighs> I'm serious, Peter. If it stays on the ship, we all go to prison. No one's going to jail. It's a harmless space llama thingy. Harmless? Remember Anakubi? Not really. No. That's because they scorched the planet because an idiot smuggled in an Exelon. I will eject the beast into space. Whoa, 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 we're not ejecting anything. It'll make us look guilty. <laughs> it could be carrying Zephron's disease. Which is why Drax is gonna hide in the secret cargo compartment behind Groot's plants. Peter Jason Quill. Really? My middle name? Hey, Corell! How you doing? How long's it been? Two, three years? You look good. You been tanning? This is a new low, Peter. Even for you. Corral, I swear it's not what it looks like. That you're a junker trespassing in the most restricted area of space? Who consorts with thieves and murderers, apparently. Hey, killing people for money ain't murder, lady. Nice to see you too. Right. Peter Quill, I found these items in the uh, space that you told me about. There was not enough room for both the other thing and these. Peter Quill? Of planet C-53, under galactic law ZXB-47, I am putting you and your crew under arrest for Actually, can I call you back? What? Please, tell me that is not a crate of super illegal tech. It is a crate of super illegal tech, which also happens to be very valuable. Really? What? We're on a Ravager ship. Even the Flark and Bulkheads are stolen. Well, we can't fit both in the compartment. I will eject the crate into space. Eject the crate, and I melt your face! The Milano's weapon systems are four generations behind, Quill. We need that tech, more than we need some stupid farm animal. That farm animal could be a class three biohazard. You want to end up in the kiln? Want to kill the creature? No, but I need the tech. Oh, airlock. Oh, I really shouldn't have hung up on her. What 
about the crate. Leave it. We'll handle this. Krell and I have history together. You slept with a cop? She wasn't a cop at the time. The point is, I will get us out of this. Trust me. has no time to meet with law-breaking pirates like you. That's just it. We're not pirates. We're legally incorporated heroes for hire. Yeah, that's right. You check those records, Buckethead. Novacore licensing permit 67398-2. Gardeners of the galaxy? What? No. Rocket. So, I let Groot fill out the paperwork. I fixed it with an addendum. Not the most well-known heroes you could hire, but definitely in the top five of... Most awesome names. Contributing members. Groot, a Flora Colossus. Last of his kind, fearless in a firefight, an awesome best friend. Rocket, bona fide super genius and a wizard with explosives. Definitely not a raccoon. Gamora, adopted daughter of Thanos, deadliest woman in the galaxy. Need we say more? Drax the Destroyer. Convicted serial murderer and galactic war hero? Often grumpy. Last and definitely least, Peter Jason Quill. That's it? That's all you wrote? It was a character limitation. <sighs> Sorry, excuse me, I just need to... Cadet Gold, what are you doing here? Oh, you don't know? Really? It says right here. Prisoner processing training. I'm your official trainee. Aren't you a little young for the Corps? Aren't you a little old for that hairdo? I should check with the captain. No. No, 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 no. She, she definitely signed off on this. You know how thorough she is about signing stuff? And if I may, sir, the real concern here is Regulation 7A regarding prisoner footgear. That one's jet boots are in clear violation. They're decorative. Good work, Cadet Gold. Great. There goes Plan B. We don't need a Plan B. I got this. No, you do not got this, pirate. I got this. Now fall in line. Time to go, prisoners. Hey, watch the jacket. Cadet Gold. You know the arrest protocols? All memorized, sir. First thing we do... First thing you do is apologize. We're legitimate business-like folk on legitimate-like business. There's so much wrong with this arrest. A, no way a kid should be... I'm an official trainee. And B, I'm very, very close friends with the captain. Uh-huh. Hold it right here. Is there a problem? Yes! No faith energy, no power. No power. No containment. The techs are looking at it. They say that. They cannot even fathom. How can they fix what they cannot understand? Put the Grand Unifier's mind at ease. Run the scanners again. What the flark is a Grand Unifier? Grand Unifier Raker. Leader of the Church of Universal something. He was floating dead in the quarantine zone. Looking for God. Pirates. Let's go. We caught him just like we caught you. Difference is. I know the captain. As I was saying, if you just tell the captain that I... Mom explicitly said she doesn't want to see you. Yeah, Quill. Just to be no, super clear on the mom that.
Be that gold, was it? Nikki? Oh, it's nice to meet you, Nikki. <laughs> okay, Nikki, here's the plan. You're gonna jump and grab my legs while I hold on for dear life. That doesn't sound like... Trust me, kiddo. We got this. Regulation 3B. Never undo restraints. Come on. You clearly need my help. No! You're my prisoner. And I got this. <sighs> Obviously. Ah! Okay, we're gonna have to find another way. We sure there isn't a way through here? I'm in charge here. A senior officer... A I... senior? Don't you mean only? Same thing. Whoa! <laughs> you okay? Yeah. I'm fine. You? Oh, dandy. Okay. This way. Shouldn't we be going up? Back toward the others? There's another blast door down here. Whoa! Are you kidding me? Relax. You're fine. Ish. I mentioned how useful my jet boots will be right now. Okay. I can do this. Rush you or anything. Almost there. Can you please stop squirming? I'm trying to focus. Okay, okay. Yes! Got it! Through here. Whew. <laughs> nice work. Thanks. You didn't do too bad yourself, pirate. Only Star Lord. Or Peter, or, you know, Nova Cadet Butt Saver. Okay. Peter. So, listen. I have some good news and some bad news about your friends. Uh, start with the bad, I guess. Your friends have been processed and put in the brig. So what's the good news? They're not dead. One of them actually seems really active. Come on. We'll be safe through here. Clark! Pipes must have burst. I like the vibe of this, this game. override key you keep using. What about it? Just trying to get my head around how a cadet has access to something like that. Should we try using that thingamajig of yours to call someone? We don't need help. I know what I'm doing. Now help me block this fire so we can get through. Sure. Just that everyone must be worried. Captain's kid goes missing. Captain's kid is still a corpsman. Now are you gonna help? Me? Easy does it. See? You don't need to worry about me. Enough people around here do that already. For what it's worth, I think you're doing great. As good an arresting officer as I've ever had. How many have you had? Not that many. Is that robot wearing makeup? What? Oh, yeah. That's just it's. I, um, I know all the bots down here. They're kind of my friends, I guess. 
I reprogrammed most of them. And gave them faces. Maybe. No, I mean it's cool. Give them personality. Very cool. Come on. This way. Oh, that's okay. Does your mom know you play down here? Probably not. But what else am I gonna do? Not like there's any other kids on board. You know, I didn't have a lot of friends at your age either. Granted, I was in prison, but still. So mom was right about you. It was a Shatari prison. I was just a kid. I have so many questions. Were your parents in prison too? No, my mom, uh, died. I didn't know my dad. How do you know my mom, exactly? Uh, we fought together on Mercury during the war. She was, a, is, a real spitfire. More like real controlling. And bossy, and judgmental. You're just a kid, Nikki. You don't know what's good for you, Nikki. Stay out of the escape pods, Nikki. <laughs> I kind of know what you mean. You do? This is a new low, Peter. Even for you, Peter. It's restricted space, Peter. <laughs> yep. That's her. Okay. Almost there. Almost where? You'll see. It's a dead end. Trust me. Of course I trust you. Clearly. Are you sure this is the quickest way to the brig? I thought you didn't want to go to the brig. Okay. Just trust me. If this is an attempt to escape your mom's ship, I really need to know. Because I may or may not be super interested. Just really need to make sure it doesn't look like a kidnapping. What? No, no. Oh, wow. Don't laugh. No, no. This is cool. It's like your secret hideout, right? Definitely prefer this to the brig. We're not staying. I just need to check on Ultimo. His gyros have been all screwy. Take your time. That's a pretty cool. Is this your mom? Single-handedly winning the war? I know. Obviously, I know she didn't do it by herself. No. That final push was uh it was a massive team effort. Were you there? Uh I contributed to the war effort. Differently. Pirating? Raiding, which is, you know, the good kind of pirating. Is this Krilar? Uh, yeah. Long time ago. Kid stuff. I could do it way better now. No, no, it's good. Morbid, but good. Hey. This is Mercury, right? Uh-huh. It's supposed to represent this big battle Mom was part of. You said you were there, right? Oh, yeah. Your mom was dead in the water until me and the Ravagers showed up. You should really fix this. You... want me to draw you in? In the interest of historical accuracy. A universal translator. Wonder if it speaks Groot. Something tells me you and Rocket would get along. Or really, really not get along. One of those two. The raccoon thing? Yeah. He seemed real charming. I just mean he's also really into all this tech stuff. Need a hand? Nope. But thanks. I'm almost done. Question is, did I miss anything? You know, this place kind of reminds me of my room as a kid. Somewhere to escape to. My actual room is right next to Mom's room. It sucks. Yeah, I can see that sucking. I can't leave him like this. Just. Make yourself at home, I guess. Hey! Secret stuff. Off 
limits. No adults. I get it. Anyway, I'm all done here. We should probably get back before mom completely freaks. Yeah, I've seen your mom overreact before. It's like I'm not a kid anymore, you know? Tell me about it. So, you get where I'm coming from, right? Like if you do end up talking to my mom, the subject of me happens to come up. Say no more. I'll make sure Corel knows what a good job you did. No! I mean, thanks. But ideally, Mom never needs to know I was in the hangar at all. So I never saw you? Exactly! Never saw me. Never saw my passkey. You may have heard of Nikki Gold and how cool she is, but that's it. Need a hand? Yes! Got it! Mom? I can explain. Mom, seriously, A-okay, barely a scratch. What in Hall's name were you thinking? Sneaking out with an arresting squad, running around with criminals. Alleged criminals. You almost died. Do you have any idea how rounded you are right now? Mom, you promised to give me more leeway. Leeway doesn't mean lying to my officers or sneaking around behind my back. Look, it's my fault some guy's ship blew up. Restricted areas are restricted for a reason. You treat me like a prisoner. You're a child. Are you even listening? Whoa, whoa. We've all been through a lot today. Let's just all take a deep breath and recognize that maybe we've all made some mistakes. Make sure the fire is out and the hangar's secure. Yes, Commander. And find out why that churchman's shuttle exploded. Grand Unifier Rager has been less than cooperative. Make him cooperate. And you two? With me. Overreact. You always overreact. Even Peter was saying so. Oh, he was, was he? I suspect Peter misspoke, something he often tends to do. For what it's worth, Nikki totally saved my butt. She handled herself really well, and you have every reason to be proud of her. Coming from you, Peter, it's worth extraordinarily little. Why are you being mean to him? Just listen to what he's saying. I don't care what he's saying. Upper level, Captain's quarters. Fine. Initiate lockdown. Lockdown initiated. <sighs> what, are you gonna kill us? In theory, these doors don't open until I say so. Yeah, I know how lockdown works. I don't think you do, because somehow you keep bypassing every security measure on this ship, and I want to know how. Or you can just show me. Mom! <laughs> I seriously have no idea what you're talking about. Initiate not lockdown. All good for systems go. Activate. Voice print not authorized. Just trying to help. We don't need your help. You're the last person we need help from. Well, you clearly need some form of help if you're trapping us in an elevator. No one leaves until you tell me what I want to know. You already know everything. No, I don't. I know you're a magnet for danger and that you somehow keep getting caught in restricted areas of this ship. I'm small, okay? I fit into places. Being small doesn't get you past security, or through the hangar bay checkpoint, or the maintenance tunnel blast doors, or even into the sub-level I just found you in. Your mom deserves to know what happened. An exploding ship is a very serious thing. I didn't blow up a ship! Okay, clearly not what I meant. How was my 12-year-old daughter anywhere in the vicinity of that ship? 12? Oh wow, I thought she was at least 16. Peter! What? She really knew her stuff. She's a smart kid. Too smart. She keeps bypassing security. Unless you have a level 6 access to my ship all of a sudden? Didn't think so. Nicolette Gold, empty your pockets. No. You empty your pockets. Nikki? What? I know you're hiding something. It was me. Yeah, all those locked doors back there, I, I hacked them. You hacked them? Yeah, I'm a hacker now. I, I hack stuff. You know, beep, bop, boop, 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 beep. I told him it was restricted. That doesn't explain the falsified orders. I don't know what to tell you, Mom. Your security staff have been sleeping on the job. All I know is I'm not hiding anything. I wouldn't do that. To be continued. Disengage lockdown. 
So, can I go help secure the hangar now? No, you can go back to your quarters and you can stay there for the next 30 rotations. But, Mom! I can make it 30 cycles. So, rough day, huh? Exploding shuttles, quarantine zone trespassers, missing kid. I have no idea. Chewie. I can't believe you still have him. I can't believe you survived. Mercury was what, like a thousand degrees? More like a thousand cycles ago. You can keep him if you want. He is yours. Hey, I ordered him to look out for you. Expect him to keep doing his job. Especially, you now have a daughter, apparently. Twelve-year-old daughter, who you didn't have during the war. Twelve years ago, when we... Peter. When we picked up your ship, part of me was excited. At first. But then after all this time, you haven't changed. At all. You're still the same. I've changed. Whatever the fine is, I'll pay. Just give me three cycles. Let me prove that I'm not still whatever it is you're going to finish that sentence with. You're going to pay 9,000 units in three cycles. Wow, that, okay. That is a lot of money. Look, here, I was thinking that the maybe... The fine's non-negotiable. My search party found a disturbing amount of prohibited tech lying around your ship and a Class II biohazard. I couldn't decide which one to hide. Peter. Okay, okay. You'll get your money on time, no problem. This Guardians of the Galaxy thing, we are this close to getting it off the ground. And if I didn't have these handcuffs on, I would show you just how very close we are. Why do I feel like I'll regret this? Oh, come on. When have I ever... You won't regret it. 